Welcome back everyone, Grogen here, and today we are back with the beast inside. Now we are up to chapter 7, and things are going well. Loving the game so far, it's been so much fun. It's been, um, we've had a few moments, we've had a few scares, we've had, uh, we've had some puzzles that have given us a little bit of trouble. But we're getting through it, we're getting through it. So we are probably around halfway through the game, so chapter 7. It says, however the impossible it may sound, however impossible it may sound, Nicholas's journal helped me to crack the Soviet ciphers. We not already read this. I thought we'd done that in the last episode. I don't know. But my joy turned out to be short-lived in an unexpected turn of events. I had to track down a spy and try and find any hidden bugs along the way. This is how I reached the ruins of an old inn where I stumbled across another collection of Hyde's thriller memoirs. Okay, so no. We came through this door, didn't we, at the end of the last episode? And we had to find a way inside. And this is where we're up to. So, we have got a little thing there that we can pull down. And this has got to have some clues on. Plus... 3 minus 1. <laughs> that helps. That really does help. Alright, what else have we got in here? A little bit of paper on the table. Observation notes on Adam and Emma. Oh, he knows every detail, just as if he slept in our bed. That's weird. <laughs> That's very weird. Anything on the back? No, we'll take that. Got a little radio equipment, a typewriter. Not much else, actually. We got another room around there. We got a little walkie-talkie. We should be able to take that and find out a little bit about stuff. But I guess not. We have got what's this? A photograph of a blue car. Photo of a car. He was already lying in wait here on the day of our arrival. Rotate to find a hidden message. Ooh. All three. Does this motherfucker know about our unborn child? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Don't know. Does he? Hey, we can't open that drawer. Any of these? We can open these ones. Let's see if we can find some more kerosene or matches because we are going through a lot of stuff. And that one? Nothing in any of them. Right. Nothing there. Just a bit of paper. Can we press... Oh, we can press this. Oh, it's a little projector. Nothing in here. We, we need to find a slide. Let me turn it back off a minute because we don't need it on yet. Right. We need to find a slide. What's this one? Lost. I wouldn't be so sure. Did he mention the copies? Should have thought about that before. He already knows more than we wanted him to. The handler is concerned. We've got a serious conversation ahead of us. Who's behind all this? Since when have they been doing it? If they had me exposed, why didn't they steal the telegrams before? Oh, we can move this. We can move this. We need to... We need to put it on that. Right. So we're going to move this over here. And it seems sensible, right? There we go. That's just snapped into place. So now we've got to find our little thing. We've got a little what handle there. Lever is for. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's locking the doors. Oh, okay. So we need to find a slide and then we've got to shut the windows so that we can see what's on the projector. Right, so where is this little slide? We've got a pair of sandals, some clothes, nothing in that one and nothing in that one. Oh, there's an upstairs too. Let's check this room first. It's got to be around, doesn't it? I kind of feel like we should shut the windows just to... Mark the places with the relays on the map. It seems I've gotten rid of them all. So we have been bugged all along. Fuck me. Oh, so this is the... This is the spy's house. Is this is... son of a bitch up to? Notes on Adam and Emma. That son of a bitch was sure he cracked us. Emma and me. That's what the Soviets tried to do. Arouse suspicion amongst friends and relatives. You can trust no one, right? Well... We certainly cannot trust these fucking commies. Hey, anything on the back? No. We'll say you. Next one. Secret notes of a Soviet spy. He watched every move, but why did he relate it this way? What's the deal with the change in case? Hey, we'll take that one as well. <coughs> okay, let's go and check upstairs. There's not much up here. I thought it was going to be a bit more. Right, we've got a little button there. Maybe I should check what this button does. Oh, we've turned blue lights on. Okay. Right, what's this? On encrypting. Cryptography. Pages. Uh, left button to turn left. I button to turn right. Okay, so we have got a Spartan Cypher Sky Tail, which looks like we've got to use to figure some stuff out. Looks like some kind of little typewriter. That's that, oh, that's the machine we had in our house. That's that first one on the left. That was what we done our first puzzle on. The one on the right was what we done our second puzzle on. 
So what's the rest? Looks like um uh, like eclipses, doesn't it? Thermo thermochromic pigments, substance that's change a substance that changes colour due to temperature rising or falling. That's what he said the cream was downstairs. Thermochromism was first discovered in the early 1970s when scientists noted noticed that some molecules or crystals may take different forms based on temperature, varying only in their optical attributes, which makes them visible only in certain temperatures. Okay. So that might be the blue lights we take. We shut the doors, blue lights, and there's... Oh, maybe. I don't know. There's a number on the board, isn't there? Invisible link. Right, so you can iron it and see messages. You can put some stuff on the paper. And then under the light, and then the iodine... I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure that out as we go. Right. Can we not take the book with us? Right, what's this? Scott tells me someone has written something here. Right, we're going to take that. Be a way to unravel it. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to figure that out when we go downstairs. Oh, look at that. There's a blue handprint there. Ah, here we go. What's this? A slide. If I want to see the image, I need to insert it into, pro into a projector. That's what we needed. Oh, look, the footprints as well. Okay, let's see where these go. What the hell is that? That's weird. That's so weird. Right, let's go and shut the door. Oh, we can't. We can't. We'll do this, though. Make it nice and dark. Oh, there's numbers. Number three up there. Right, we're going to follow these footsteps first. Right, there must be something. Are these places that we've got to stand? If we stand there and look at something, so we've got a number three. There's something with that picture. A minus three. D two. And that's it. Nowhere else. A minus three and D two, and then we've got that as well. I don't know. Let's see what's what. We're gonna stick a slide into there and put you on. The target is that window. But no idea what we're meant to be doing in here. Right. So is then oh it's dark. It went light when we come out. Let's just have a check outside a sec. No, there's nothing in there. Oh, hang on, what's this? He secured, the, he secured the entrance with a cipher. The wires lead inside the house. Okay. So there's a cipher. The wires lead inside the house. Oh, on this little machine here. Oh, look. A, B, C and D. That's so we need to... Door. Where can I get the password? The door is locked. Enter the password. Okay. So it goes in numbers. So A... How do we back out there? So that's B1. Oh, B4. B4 is that? Okay. So if we stand on this, we see A3. A3 is I. I. Then B is... E4. V. Oh, no. I'll do go back. We'll have to come off that. So it's IV. Uh, C is... Where's C? Something that we're missing. Oh, password reset in 18 minutes. Okay, so we've got 18 minutes to figure out what it is. Unless. Oh, hang on. It works. C1. I'm starting to make out the letters. C1. Oh, no, they've changed. Oh, A3 is M. B4 is S. C1 is I, and D2 is A. Finally, we get in check the basement, nice. Basement and deal with that fucker. 
the way the light changes there. Right, we need to probably... No, that's already open. How we get in there? I see the heavy. <laughs> or I'm just not pulling it the right way. Come on, lift it up. Keep going. Keep going. Can't fit. That one was well easier. So what are we going to find down in the basement? Right. It's all proper secret spy stuff down here. Right, we've got a briefcase. But we can't open. Got lots of chemicals and stuff. Another little walkie-talkie on the right. Blood. What's happened here? That's not a lot. I mean, there is a bit of blood, but... He kind of overreacted a little bit there. Oh, God. Who's he? Oh. <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> God, what? Why does it do things like that to me? It didn't even do anything. Why? Right, we got to figure out what's up with them, but these drawers are locked. we got a bit of paper there. Destroy them. Right, what's this one? Are we still alive? I finally made it to the mine, but something followed me. Ooh, chapter 8. I finally made it to the mine, but something followed me. I'm sure it wasn't human. I lost it on the way. At least I think I did. I need to forget about it. I can't waste time on delusions. That's what they told me after all. Father, detective, the mine. Hopefully I can find something here. You see, that guy moved his head as we walked past. And then the shadow was standing up. Oh. We're playing as two different people, aren't we? I'm pretty sure we are, because we keep flitting from place to place. Chapter 8, the diary is updated. Get through the mine. Right, it looks like we're going to be going that way. Let's just check behind. I don't think we can climb up this. Doesn't look like there's a way out anyway. Hey. Nothing in the barrels. We got a map. Right, levels. One, two. We're on level one, I guess. Oh, there's loads of levels. There's three. God knows. We're just going to have to run. I mean, I can read maps. I just gotta, I've just i got to know where we are. I've got to know where we are. Right, so there's some wood. Oh, there's a dead body. My father's... My father's mind has become a graveyard for so many. It's terrible. If I don't want to end up like them, I must remember hints from Gilman's notes and follow the green lights. Otherwise, I'll never get out of here. Follow the green lights. Right, so we are on minus one. There's a note again. Detective second note, Roman numerals, what could it mean? Oh, uh, 513, 613? 613. Accident claimed the lives of four people. Why would my father kill them if they were his friends? And on top of that, the explosion led him to financial ruin. That doesn't make any sense. My father was no fool. My father was what? No fool. There's another map there. Right, how bad can this be? Right, we've looked around, there's nothing there. There is something here though. Whoa, matches. Right, let's check this map as well. Right, we're there. It says follow the green lights, right? But I don't know where the exit is out of all of these. But we've got two, three. <gasps> there was numbers. Number six. So we've got to go to the right, I think, first. Right, we need to have a quick look at that. And inspect. Sound like we could hear someone. So there's the six there. So the page that we just found was in a note. Six one three. So six one and three. Is that where we gotta go? Or is that where not to go? Oh, more matches and kerosene. You take them. Have a quick look here a sec. I think we could easily get lost in there, but let's see if we can climb up. No, we can't. All right, we're going to go to number six anyway. Six first. It's a creepy, creepy mine. Green light. Okay. The one that the dead man had written about. He was so I think... I'm on the right track. I think we've got to follow the path to certain places and they light up if we go the right way. Here we go. Six. 
I think I reckon we've just gone the wrong. Oh no, it's the right way. It's the right way. There. The light is green again. A little bit of effort, and I can get out of this damn mine. Hang on. Have we just come back to the same place? Because that's saying we're somewhere different. Ah, oh, this is confusing. So did one just bring us out in number four? So we've got to go to the right, maybe? Don't know, don't know. Yeah, three, number three. Well, that's not good. Oh, now it'll open. hell's going on oh we gotta get up the middle that's why okay so oh we're gonna get chased through here we're gonna get chased through here it's a ghost doesn't look very friendly sneak take care not to be heard or seen by the ghost you'll move quieter when crouching if the spirit sees you run and hide back in the same place maybe it will tell me where gilman left the other notes we're there. We've got to go round past number five and round to the left. Uh. I think we've got to get in that gap around there, but he was in the way. I think we've got to go around. He said hide, didn't he? He said hide. I don't like this already. You like I'm being quiet just because I don't want to be seen. Right, we need to know where he is and where he's going to go. Okay, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. He cannot see me. Well, he probably can. Oh, he missed us. He missed us. Okay, nine, seven, and eight. Nine, seven, eight. Where's nine? Was accidental. So, all, out back out where we just came from, to the top corner, the then the bottom, However, and then the, the left. Didn't have hard evidence, only circumstantial. Right, we've got to try and get out of here without him seeing us now. Coming in, isn't he? We got past them. We got past them. That's number eight. I think we've just gone the wrong way. <laughs> I think we've just gone the wrong way. Oh, that's where we come in. I forgot the numbers. I forgot the numbers. We're miles away. We need to go back around. So there's number seven. Eight. That's number eight. So we need to go back around to the left. Into that room. On the right. This could take a while, you know. So we need number seven, which is... Down this hallway. 
round the bend at the end to the could be to the right no so that must be I don't know I don't know so we need seven either way Is that seven? Yeah. Nine, seven, and then we need eight. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. That's number nine. We need number eight. Should be that next one there. Should be this one. Should be this one. We did. We got to number three. Okay, so how do we open it? Oh, God. There's another one right there. <laughs> Find the last note. And the last note. We're going to be in that middle room again. I think he was just coming from the right then. Ah! He's going to find us, isn't he? Don't come around, don't go around, don't go around. Oh, I think we're okay. Oh, that was so lucky. But we gotta find the last note. Where could it be? Is this it? I didn't read that. <laughs> I was the hide. Right, note from Luke. What's this about? There's a page in the Bible, but in. Uh, the Bible in the end too, but here. Is that the numbers? 12, 2 and 3? Okay, we need a map. Oh, there's no map there no more. Gotta hit your nose. Wait, right, 12? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, 10. Oh, where's number 12? Well, there isn't a number 12. 12, 2 and 3. There isn't any of them. Okay, so that's not where we're looking. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so the map, it's up there at the top. So we're in the complete opposite end. So the question mark is where we got to go. Right, so we're going to go this way then. But he's going to go up them stairs again, so maybe we need to hide behind these boxes and when he walks that way. Oh no, he's gone the other way. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. There it is, there it is. 17, 13, and 14. 17, 13, 14. We're not going to remember. The detective was eager to make it big on the tragedies that took place in Blackstone. 17. He was a hair's breadth away from piecing all the That's where we just come from. 17. Slipping away from him. 13 is the bottom. Story. She mentioned some secret in my family. Something that could change him. Bring us down forever. Seventeen, thirteen, fourteen. Uh oh. She knows something that even I don't. Seventeen, thirteen, fourteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Yeah. And 13 and 4... Oh, shit. 
I forgot. I forgot. Right, let's just wait here a sec. Notes. 17. Yeah, 17, 13 and 14 is what we need now. There's one. Thirteen down the bottom, so we gotta kinda I don't know. We just gotta get to the other end. It's gonna be that way, isn't it? There it is, there it is. Thirteen. And then we just got fourteen to go, and I think this is the last floor. Well, actually I hope so, because it's been like forty minutes in. I hear him, I just can't see him. A okay, 14 is all the way to the opposite side. I don't know how we got past that guy over there. So we might have to come this way. Try and get down the far end. Fourteen, fourteen. How oh, lucky was that? If as long as we've done it right, as long as we've done it right. Get out of the mine! I can't wait to get out of the mine. This is absolutely nasty. Hey, okay. gotta be this right. That opened you. That opened you, and we're gonna get on a minecart. Oh, pull it out the way. Hey, can we? Do we need to? Oh, I've got an idea. Oh, we gotta pull it, and we can't push it. We can pull it though. Okay, we've done that. Now we can do you. This one might be a slightly, slightly longer episode because it's taken us ages to do anything. <laughs> so we bring this in and we've got to get it to change sacks and push it down the hill, I think. Yeah, look, there's the lever there. Hey. Okay. We know what we're doing. Gotta pull it back past this. There we go. Pull this. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit spinny. Right, let's push. Hopefully, it's gonna go fast and break something. Unless we can jump in there, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, if we could double grab on and hold on as we went for a little bit of a ride, that'd do. Hey, look. We just made loads of noise. We're going to run. <laughs> We're going to just run. Oh, shit. <coughs> What's that he's looking at? Is that a body? It's not going to be another one of them men with the axes, is it? That's going to chase us forever. Uh, we have to. nowhere else to go. It's Gilman. Gilman? Is he... Oh, his heart still beating? Is he frozen? I think he's still alive. Oh, shit. <laughs> had no heart, bastard. Oh, he's just threw us off the edge. It's a bit frosty down here. Currently saving. I have right, to run. So Looks like another little game of freeze to death. cat and mouse. This is where I always die, running away from stuff. What are you stopping for? Oh shit, not that way. <laughs> oh god, how's he doing this? Oh 
Uh, don't like this at all. Keep running, keep running. Ah, you... Ah. I couldn't... I, I panicked. <laughs> I panicked. Okay, right, load last checkpoints. Just start running. So... Left. Oh, no, right. <laughs> oh, I hope these don't catch us. Oh, God. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Get up, you weirdo. Run. Oh, I hate the visibility on this. We're safe, are we? Heart is pounding. Oh, there's another one. What's he doing? Making the snow inside. Freeze and wave crouch behind the metal sheets to take cover from the ice. I need to be careful. I knew those blasts could freeze me to death. What did that say? Press space. I think it means crouch, doesn't it? Wait, everything says white. Okay, we got a bit of a jump to do here. Oh no, we haven't. No, we haven't. The heart is his weakness. If I can hit him there, it will all be over. Hit him in the heart. That was lucky. That was lucky. Hey, <laughs> right, now we've got to... Oh, we made it. We made it just about. God. This has been an intense little day, you know. Oh, we're going to hit him with a pickaxe. <laughs> I didn't even know we had a weapon on us, but, you know. Saying that we do, we got a big massive pickaxe that we've been carrying around. He's just froze our hands. <gasps> Don't throw us off again. Don't. Oh, oof. God. Oh, he's still there. Kick him. Oh, there's that guy again. That's the second time he saved us. I told you to get out! <laughs> He's brutal, him. But there's actually blood as well. Wait, are we going to run away? Or just stand there and watch? I swear I read it. Look at the crack in it. Why is that guy not saying anything to us? You finish what you started. Oh, he wants us to find out what's going on, I think. Oh, it's just split in half. <laughs> Oh, he's just pulled out his heart. His frozen, beaten heart. Run, run, run. He's chapter nine, right? Yes, there we go. That is where we are, that is where we are going to finish off. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. Hope you are enjoying the series so far. If you're new to the channel, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episodes, hit the thumbs up. Pop some comments down below. Let us know what you think. I want to say a big thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.